Hello today's video we have the following content. After playing Wang Hedi's lover, she plays Zhang Han's lover. At the age of 32, she looks like Zhou Haimei and is a close friend of Reba. The Liu Zhaoji starring Zhang Wanai and Wang Jiren is enjoying it, and the Liu Guanyin starring Zhang Han and Zhu Zudan is on the air again. This month's ancient idol market is so lively that drama fans are overwhelmed. Liu Zhaoji ended with a good score of 8.0 on Dubin. Tencent's vision never disappoints people. So, Xiaomi couldn't wait to open Liu Guanyin, and what came into view was a cold and noble face. Zhu Zudan's appearance has always been very good. The character setting of beauty plus special forces, the force value is bursting, and it is very exciting at first glance. For Zhu Zudan, this drama is also worth watching. Unexpectedly, as soon as the male lead appeared, a group of people were directly discouraged. The male lead Jun Biao, played by Zhang Han, cannot be said to be handsome, but can only be said to have nothing to do with the word handsome. A very inappropriate headgear directly reaches a new level of ugliness. The Biraj area said, Am my eyes. Think about Zhang Han's modern clothes, that is so cool. The domineering boss in Shan Shang comes made many people unforgettable. In the same frame with the high-value female Li Jia Liang, they are also a perfect match. And now, the person is still the same person, 183 centimeters tall, although he is getting older, but his facial features are still pleasing to the eye, and his acting skills are also online. But he is not handsome. Many netizens lamented, Zhang Han is really not suitable for ancient costumes. However, compared with his brothers, he seems to have become handsome again. Sure enough, beauty can only be discovered by being good at comparison. Changing a hairstyle, tying a high ponytail, the heroic spirit doubled, and paired with a white battle uniform, he was instantly ten times more handsome, which shows how important makeup is to an actor. Looking at the whole drama again, a cheap web drama flavor instantly occupied the screen. Especially the queen, when the camera turns to her, people are immediately distracted. She has no queen's pattern and style at all, but she is like a favorite concubine who has come to power with a foxy aura. The strategies of the emperor and the queen are even more childish, as if they were playing house. The heroine and her stepmother fought on the street at the beginning, which was a bit too exaggerated and unreal. It is a cliched and cool drama of rebirth, revenge and slapping the stepmother and stepmother in the face. After watching two episodes, I want to give up the show. However, wait. When the camera turns to the fighting scene, I am addicted to it. The fighting scenes in the play are neat and tidy, with punches hitting the flesh, and each move is connected very smoothly. It is very refreshing to beat the bad guys, which makes people applaud. Especially Han Ziking, played by the heroine Zhu Zudan, dressed in black and masked makeup, that heroic figure, cool and hot, and her high martial arts value is admirable. If Xiaoyi was born in ancient times, he would definitely be a fan of Han Ziking. Just for Zhu Zudan, Xiaoyi is attracted to Zhang Han. The two of them play husband and wife, and they seem to have a CP feeling. And this earthy, crazy and cool plot, so addictive. In fact, three years ago, Zhu Zudan played lovers with Wang Hedi in the ancient puppet drama Meeting the Dragon. Handsome man and beautiful woman, three lives of love, Wang Hedi's obsessive protection, it is really touching. At that time, Wang Hedi had just debuted, and Zhu Zudan had already made her debut with the role of Zhu on Vin Eternal Love. Although Wang Hedi's first drama Meteor Garden was unexpectedly good and received a lot of praise, his acting skills in Meeting the Dragon were really not flattering, and he was collectively mocked and became a hot search. In contrast, Zhu Zudan is much safer. She looks sweet and lovely, has a fresh and lively temperament, and her acting skills are remarkable. That year, Wang Hedi was 23 years old and Zhu Zudan was 29 years old. Although she was 6 years older than Wang Hedi, they looked the same and did not look out of place. Many netizens also became fans of Zhu Zudan because of meeting the dragon. Five years ago, Zhu Zudan also played the role of the beautiful and graceful Joe's hero in the classic martial arts drama The Heaven Sword and Dragon Saber. Zhu Zudan's version of Joe's hero was elegant and refined. She was childhood sweethearts with the male lead Zhang Wuji, played by Zhang Shengxi, and had an engagement. Unfortunately, Zhang Wuji was deeply attracted to Xiao Min and abandoned Joe's hero at the wedding. Joe's hero turned from love to hate and was irreconcilable with Zhang Wuji. The relationship between the two also became a hot topic in the drama and was highly discussed. The role of Joe's hero has been played by many stars several times. The most classic one is undoubtedly Joe Haimei. So far, no one has surpassed it. But since Zuzuden's version of Joe's hero debuted, 
Netizens unanimously believe that Zuzudin looks like Joe Haney, especially her mouth, which is very similar to Joe Haney. Every frown and smile reminds people of Joe Haney's version of Joe's hero. Joe Haney and Zuzudin, both are beautiful. The entertainment industry has always been a place where talented people emerge from generation to generation. Although Joe Haney has passed away, the new generation of outstanding actors has already taken over. Zuzudin has been on the road for 11 years since her debut, bringing us more and more excellent roles. The smart and beautiful Alan in the fantasy drama Flame, the Princess Beauté of the Yuyao Kingdom and Fox Spirit Matchmaker, Moon Red, and the beautiful and persistent Wen Jing in First Love are all unforgettable. The competition in the entertainment industry is fierce, but Zuzudin and Deliba have a rare fairy friendship. The two met because of the play, and their cooperation and tacit understanding are very high. The two often share photos of their lives on social media and send blessings to each other on their birthdays. Zuzudin also posted a picture on Weibo to celebrate Delia Reba's birthday, and wrote that Delia Reba is the woman I love most. This sincere friendship is also very enviable. The flowing light is currently on the air, and Zuzudin still has a lot of scenes. Let us look forward to her wonderful performance. Next news. Zhang Han and Zhu Zudin's Liu Guangyun is a hit, but the audience's reasons for abandoning the show are surprisingly consistent. At the end of August, Chinese dramas have updated new works and have become popular. Both costume dramas and modern dramas have brought new dramas. How are they being broadcast? Among them, there are good dramas and bad dramas, and the opening has caused widespread heated discussions. Li Guangyun, starring Zhang Han and Zhu Su, has caused a high tide since its launch, but it is not as good as expected. The plot, character setting, and performance have caused heated discussions in the comment area. The plot mainly tells the story of Han Ziking, a concubine of the Prime Minister's mansion, who accidentally intersects with the Shining God of War Jun Biao, and is forced to be involved in the disputes surrounded by powerful countries and foreign races. The two have gone through hardships and finally come together and live a happy life together. From the story introduction, it can be seen that this TV series is a classic ancient idol drama that has fallen into the cliché. The various love stories that appear in Chinese dramas will inevitably have similar trends within the general framework, but if the content is fresh enough, there is actually a possibility of bringing a good drama, but there are only a few such fillings that can be played excitingly. So does this TV series have any exciting highlights worth watching? After watching five episodes, I just want to say that even if it is a familiar face, this drama is hard to follow. At the beginning, there is a house fight. Han Ziking, the concubine of the Prime Minister's family, is up and down in the house, and the family favors the legitimate daughter. The opening appearance explains the identity and situation of the heroine, and Han Ziking's tragic life experience paves the way for the development of the cool drama later. Han Ziking's sister relies on her status to make things difficult for her, but Han Ziking is not a brainless white lotus. She is secretly calculating her sister who only shows off her power in public, and she is fighting back to protect her own safety and interests. However, it was not only the overt depression and harassment from the legitimate daughter, but also the legitimate mother instigated the maid servants, and even a little maid servant could make things difficult for her, and she was not regarded as a lady of the Han family at all. Moreover, even the queen in the palace put Han Ziking to death everywhere, and the tea she gave in person was poison tea. In such a dangerous world, the heroine would have died thousands of times, but Han Ziking was not a small persimmon that could be manipulated by others. She was not afraid at all and reversed the ending in her own way. Suddenly, the Shining God of War Jun Biao came to choose a wife. Han Zir, the legitimate daughter of the Han family, wanted to marry her as a princess, but facing the two children of the Han family, Jun Biao took a fancy to Han Ziking and chose her as the one to marry without question. A concubine who said in public that she could not play the piano, chess, calligraphy and painting, and tried her best not to be valued by Jun Biao, unexpectedly, Jun Biao curled his lips and chose her as his person in front of everyone. The old-fashioned domineering president falls in love with me story of a domineering president preferring a rebellious heroine is still a turn-off in ancient costume dramas. It's too eye-catching. But do you think these are the only clichés? There are more clichés to come. Han Ziking was not interested in the position of princess from beginning to end, nor was she interested in Jun Bijin. Even when she entered the palace, she didn't take it seriously. In the stage of pretending to be sick, Han Ziking pretended to be sick and lied to her sister that she was going to die. The brainless sister was really scared. She was cursing in the last second, and in the next second, 
She cried and apologized because she said that someone was going to die. Hans Eiking pretended to be sick and ate with relish when no one was around. Others didn't know that she was pretending to be sick, but John Biu knew about it and suddenly attacked. The food on the table had been stirred up a lot, and she actually said that she had no appetite to eat. Jun Biu looked at the food on the table that had been moved, then looked at Hans Eiking, and smiled doubtingly. He knew it well and would not expose it, but just pretended that nothing had happened. The judicial department was ordered to detain the princess and put her in prison. Jun Biu was domineering to protect his wife. Even if that vine threatened the emperor, he had some intention of disobeying the imperial order to save his wife. However, even if Hans Eiking was imprisoned, it was a place that could be entered at will. The man with the silver mask, they had fought before, and this time they fought in prison again. Hans Eiking couldn't beat him and bit Dua Fang's neck with her teeth, and they started quarreling in the prison. A man who always appeared in front of the heroine, who could come in after entering the prison, there was no need to guess who the identity of the man with the silver mask was. They were still fighting in the last second, and they were playing nunchukus with each other in the next second, and it was a pink nunchaku. Are they competing to see who is better at hand gesture dancing? After all, it is a drama that has been squeezed for many years. The character setting, plot setting and development are all old-fashioned and cliched. It is clear how the next second will go. There is no highlight at all. It is really hard to describe. The cool drama and comedy are not outstanding. Each link can be found in the popular TV series. When watching the drama, the mind directly corresponds to the familiar clips. I just want to say that bad drama should not be squeezed. If it is really not good, don't come out to cause trouble. If you watch it, don't say anything. Study more excellent works. In terms of character setting, everyone is more cruel than the other, and the queen is more cruel than the Han family. It is really blatant to poison in front of everyone. The heroine is innocent and kind, smart and martial arts. The heroine is bullied, and only the hero pampers her. In his eyes, there is only this person, the second daughter of the Han family who is cursed by everyone. The feeling is that everyone is bad. You two fight for turning over injustice. Zhang Han fell from the position of male lead in idol dramas because of the greasy man incident. He is quite greasy in new dramas. Although it has been a long time since this happened, the familiar domineering flavor is still the same in ancient costumes, not to mention the charm. Seeing the heroine smile inexplicably, he saw through the heroine's little tricks and pretended not to see them. He would come out to protect her in the first time when she was in danger, but he was furious when facing other people. His face was completely different before and after. Moreover, Zhang Han's styling in the play is old, and he looks more greasy than the domineering aura and temperament. On the surface, the heroine is a powerless concubine who is at the mercy of others, but in fact, she has already known those who want to hurt her and discovered their schemes, but she just doesn't say it and outsmarts them. The character setting is still the common character setting, without any novelty. It can only become a vulgar story in a bad drama now. There should be many people coming for Zuzudin, but her performance in the play can only be said to be average, and the performance in some places is not interpreted. All in all, after watching the five episodes that have been aired, I really can't keep up with it. The plot is too obvious, the personalities of each character are familiar, and there is no sincerity at all. Things that are outdated are now back, and only the old cliches are left. Now I finally understand why the once popular ancient idol theme has been replaced by other themes. Without innovation, it will eventually lose traffic and popularity. It seems that we still have to keep up with the pace of the mainstream, otherwise it will be a bad drama. The routine of changing the soup but not the medicine has lost the audience, not to mention that these are completely leftovers, and can only become new themes and continue to become new mainstream trends and new tracks. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 